Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite styles of photography, that's fashion photography, and in particular, shooting streetwear. So what I wanna run through with you is six quick, easy tips to shooting better streetwear photography. Now, I'm not talking about getting in your camera and changing shutter speeds and ISO and aperture. We can do another video on that. What I wanna talk about is a few things that you can do on location, a few little tweaks, a few little movements that you can make to add dimension to your overall streetwear photography set. So tip number one, choosing the right location. A location is super important and it can really set a vibe or mood to your photography, in particular with streetwear. So what you wanna do is choose a location that really complements the look that the model is going to be wearing. So I've put up three examples here of a set I shot with a good friend of mine, Harry Barnett, and in the first and third images, you can actually see that we've gone for a little bit more of a gritty, moodier look, as opposed to the middle image, which is much cleaner. But that also ties in with his looks. In the middle image, with that gray over black, really clean type look, it's really complemented by the clean lines, the cement, the lines and tones of the location. Gray over black, complemented by the gray and black cement of the location. With the third image, Harry's got that jacket with that little orange pop of color, which ties in the tiny little colored details in the location. So choosing your location is a really important first step into any good streetwear set. Tip number two is composition. Now, when I talk composition, I'm talking about two things. In the first example that I've got up on the screen, I'm talking about the composition to create a nice, interesting set of images that can all work together. So with your first image, it's a really nice wide composition. It shows off the location. It shows that shooting on a rooftop in the city with buildings around, it's really nice and clean. So it, it's a nice image that ties in the whole mood and vibe that we're going for with this set of images. The middle one cropped in a little bit closer, but gives that full body look at Harry. Shows off the whole outfit, not in super detail, but shows off the whole look. And then in the third image, we've cropped in nice and close. The background's a little bit more compressed, hiding some of the details of the background, which gives you that connection with the model and also shows off all the garment that we wanna be advertising or shooting for the client, which is that Adidas garment with the logo in the middle and detail on the cuffs. My second approach to composition is making sure you remember to shoot landscape. It's something that as Instagram photographers, we often forget we're always going out thinking Instagram, shooting in portrait, and then get caught up when a client requests a landscape image, or we're looking to update our website and we need to create a new banner. So always remember to shoot portrait and landscape to make a nice, complete set. My third point is using a range of focal lengths. So by shooting a range of focal lengths can add a lot of dimension to a shoot. So you can see here in the examples on the left hand side, I've shot these images at 24 millimeters. What they've done is they've distorted the background just slightly, distorted some of the lines and also elongated the limbs of the model. This adds a really interesting dimension and gives it a bit more of a streetwear feel as opposed to that right hand side shot at closer to 70 mil where we've got what looks almost more like a portrait image. Now there's a place for it because it highlights some more of the details or zooms in on a section of the look, but they give a really diverse feel to a set by shooting right through that focal range. Step four, shoot the details. So what I've got here up on the left hand side is an image of the full look. And then on the right, a shot zoomed in on the sneakers. You might think, why not just crop in on the details from the full look? Well, it's all about quality. So by shooting the details, you're making sure that you nail the focus on the detail you're trying to show and that you're not zooming in on an image that you may have shot at a higher ISO and compromising some quality once you zoom in. Shooting the details are also really good for making advertisements or sliders on your Instagram. So you can see here, we've got a nice landscape shot, which kind of draws you in 
and then that little detailed insert of the cuff on the sleeve of the jumper which is going to sell that sweater step number five an easy one work the angles you can see here these side-by-side -side shots were shot with exactly the same camera setting same focal length same aperture shutter speed iso one shot straight on on the left a great image but by taking three steps to the right and shooting on a bit of an angle changes the dimension draws you in to the model and to the shot a little bit more and is just overall more a dynamic image another way you can shoot the angles is by shooting up to me this shot here has a certain attitude to it and that was created not only by the model but by shooting up moving on to the final point number six is movement another really easy one particularly when shooting male models often male models when standing almost flat-footed can look awkward particularly if they're not a professional model whereas if you allow them to move around walk take a few steps towards you it adds a more relaxed feel, which you can see on the right-hand photo. It also gives a little bit more of a lifestyle vibe, which is what you want in a streetwear set, particularly on Instagram these days, it's all about those lifestyle images. So there's my six quick and easy tips for shooting streetwear photography. Make sure you give Harry a follow. I'll link his Instagram in the description below. Tag me in any photos where you use these techniques. I'd love to see them. And as always, thank you for pressing play.